Welcome to another tutorial. Uh, really quickly, I just want to show you uh, a, a way that we can free up storage in XPMC. What typically happens, um, uh, XPMC doesn't delete thumbnails. Um, and basically every time if I go in and I, uh, like I go in here to movies and I, you know, when I search and, uh, I pull up all this information. So this DVD cover here, the artwork in the background, all of that gets stored, um, as a thumbnail and, uh, Technically, some of them are not really thumbnails. You are. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is we're go I'm going to show you how to delete those um, and clean up your system. Because uh, also, if you had a library of movies that you had ripped or whatever and you had on your own system uh, on a networked drive or whatever, and then maybe some of those movies got deleted, um, and or some of them you you scanned into your system but for whatever reason you don't have them anymore they get deleted you watch the movie you're no longer interested in it well all of that stuff still keeps being saved and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the file manager but first typically your system is you're going to need to go in here to appearance and come down to file lists and uh, allow file renaming and deletion and show hidden files and directories make sure those are checked now I'm on the uh, on a custom skin that I did um, so yours will be slightly different but um, the the basics are the same um, I'm gonna remove this so that we can see what we're doing okay so we want to go to add source and browse um, I am on a computer so yours is going to be different uh, So you'll need to figure out um, Android. I believe it is uh, S, uh, root SD card, and uh, then I think it's Android, and then it's data. And just kind of, and then you'll see uh, under data, you should see org.xpmc, something like that. Uh, okay, XVMC. Come down here to user data. And in your database, first thing you need to do is come through your database, and right here, there's this texture 13 file. We want to delete it. We don't want to rename it, we want to delete it. Okay, and then back up. Oops, it got out of it. So we want to we delete that. Basically, that stores, tells XBMC um, what you have. It tells XBMC, hey, you have all these thumbnails and all this. And, and if you don't delete that textures file, deleting the thumbnails here, you will end up with a bunch of blanks in XBMC. You will not get your thumbnails back until you delete that. So then we're just going to go into the thumbnails folder and select all click on delete now I just did it uh, yesterday because I was uh, uh, trying to do a demo on how to do this um, so now you see when you do it I don't have any pictures so you'll need to go in and quit XBMC once you quit and you, uh, if you're on the standard confluence skin, your power button will be down in the left hand corner. Simply get out of it, relaunch XBMC, give it a couple of seconds upon launch, and you'll have all of your pictures and everything back. And um, that is today's tutorial. And uh, again, if you've not ever done that and you have a lot of add ons and things like that, you could clear up several hundred megabytes of space or more and uh, free a lot of space on your system. Thanks.